Hey, what's good? It's Cadillac Tracks. I'm back again. This is quick tip number 70, making my way up to 100. I might stop the series at 100 because I'm actually running out of stuff to tell y'all. But I'm going to keep it going with something fresh. Make sure y'all check out my MK3 custom template if you have not done so. You're sleeping. Now, the first thing that we're going to go over today in the quick tip, today's quick tip is about how to add sustain or the MIDI out function. So I'm just going to um, label it MIDI out. MIDI out is this function right here. You might not be aware of this. MIDI out is, it simply sends out MIDI to wherever you want. So channel one is where the MIDI's coming from. My keyboard is sending it into this thing through channel one. And then the port is what port the MIDI is going out as. So this is a good function to use if you have um, an external keyboard or something, you have some type of device and it needs to receive a MIDI note from your keyboard so that it can play a sound. This is one way you could do it to route it. You could route your keyboard in here and then route this to the same port your little device is set up on and your, your device will start to receive MIDI using this MIDI out. It can also be used to route MIDI into different channels or different VST plugins. It can be very useful in a lot of different situations. And you can see right here it has these knobs right here. And what today's quick tip is about is the MIDI out function and how to use a sustain knob. If you have the machine mk3 and you have a keyboard but you have no pedal for sustain this can help you right here um, all we're going to do is open up midi out you can click right here you can find midi out and you can open up midi out when midi out opens up you're going to select the channel that your midi is coming from and you're also going to select the port that's available and uh, what you want to do here is uh, you'll notice that i can actually use this midi out to control nexus you know nexus it wants a midi note so if I click right here on the VST wrapper settings, it's asking me right here, what is the import, input port and output port? So I can go right here and I can say, you know, I want the input port to be one, you know, meaning that it's going to get notes from one. And we can see right here on this, the port is one, two. So when I hit a note here, it's going to go to port one, which now Nexus is set up to receive a note from. So let me try that. All right, it works. So... <clears throat> What I did is um, I actually went ahead and I set up, this is right here, this knob, which is sustain. And that's what the quick tip video is today. It's about how to add a custom sustain knob to your VST plugins. Once you load up a plugin and you've routed it correctly using the MIDI out function, this is one way that we can do this. Right now, if I didn't have a pedal, I wouldn't actually be able to sustain this note. So I'm, I'm just going to hit this note and you're going to notice how it dies out right after I hit it. There's no sustain on it, and I would have, if I didn't have a pedal, I couldn't push down with my foot to make it sustain. So this is a way to set up a custom sustain, a custom sustain, and also a way to use the MIDI out function. You click on the MIDI out function, it has these knobs right here. You can actually right click a knob and you can go to configure. When you do that, it's gonna ask you what you would like to name it. You can go ahead and name it, whatever you wanna name, or whatever control that you wanna control. And by linking it to controller 64, that's the universal control for sustain, it's actually going to go ahead and link to controller 64. So anytime this is open and I hit this sustain, it's going to turn sustain on through this port, which is going to Nexus. The sustain control switch is always on and off. It's not regulated like a volume knob where this is a little bit and this is a little more. Once you pass 64 or halfway, it's off. I mean, it's on. So it's off at zero all the way up to 64. And then once it passes 64, it's on. So it's basically an on and off switch. And we're going to give it a try. Go ahead and turn sustain on. And now I'm going to play Nexus notes and see if they hold or not. So you can hear the notes are actually sustained now. It's because I turned the sustain knob on. And right there, when I turned it down, it goes off. So this is a way to set up a custom sustain knob for your for your VST plugins. I'm using the MIDI out function, so it's, it's a quick tip on how to use the MIDI out and also how to set yourself up a custom sustain. Um, let me sh see another thing right here. I believe on this MIDI out here, you can see that I have this right here, this reverb knob. And um, when I hit that reverb knob, it's linked up to this reverb knob right here on, on um, Nexus because this is a universal reverb knob. 
Um, the universal control for reverb is 91. So when, once that's linked to 91, if I go here and I put it at zero, I can go back to Nexus. You can see it's at zero. Anytime I move that knob, it's basically moving this knob. Um, this is a good way to set up and use the MIDI out function. This is a quick tip. I'm going to go ahead and end it at that. It's just how you can use MIDI out to set yourself up um, a lot of different functions, any function that you want to do, like sustain, reverb, modulation. Um, man, there's a lot of them. You could really use, utilize the MIDI out function. Cadillac Tracks one.